it's time to boycott Burger King because now they're firing people for hiring black people. Seriously, here's the story. Friends say they're shocked after being fired from the Burger King in Clinton. Now this comes after the mother's teenage son went viral about a month ago for helping his friend get a summer job to stay out of trouble. Our Chris Fields tells you why they were let go in this exclusive interview. Nepotism is the reason a mom claims she, her son, and his three friends were all fired from this local fast food restaurant. And they are not happy about it. In fact, they say with all the crime happening here in the metro, their jobs were like a safe haven. And do keep in mind, this is not just about a policy. This is about putting this black woman in her place. Because she was a manager at Burger King and because she had hired her son and his friends, they wanted to show this black woman that you don't have any power and they wanted to humiliate her before not only her son, but his friends and also the community to show you don't have any power to be hiring anybody because if it was a policy issue that she didn't know about, why couldn't a correction have been made? Why couldn't they have corrected that mistake that she made? It wasn't about the mistake. It was about the attempt to humiliate her. And this is why I believe that we should not shop at Burger King. We shouldn't buy their food anymore. And I want you to hear from her son and look at his face. I feel like it was a really good thing because we could have been out here doing violence and shooting and killing, but we uh, went out and worked. 15-year-old Cordarian Valentine is upset that he and his friends, along with his mother, were let go from the Burger King franchise. It was also, you know what I'm saying, a fun experience to get you ready for the real world. Valentine's mother, Shakela Dixon, was the manager at the Clinton store. She thought it was a good idea to bring four teenagers on board to earn some extra money before school starts in the fall. After hiring the teenagers, she was so excited and even posted a photo of them working on Facebook. After the post, probably like later on uh, the evening, the post or whatever started doing numbers. I think he got to like 1K at that point. The viral post also caught the attention of actor Nick Cannon. He then posted the picture on his Instagram. It received more than 90,000 likes and hundreds of shares. Dixon says everything was going great until she received a disturbing phone call. I got a call from my area manager and my district leader. And she said, you know, we don't want to turn something bad or uh, good into something bad, but we have a couple of concerns. The concerns that she came to me with was the fact that Cordelia was my son, uh, how much money they was getting paid. She went on to say. She told me that a minor is supposed to get paid differently than what an adult gets paid, but it was never brought to my attention beforehand. My thing was when it came down to policy, I felt like if policy was into play in the beginning, policy still should have been into, uh, into play in the end. Valentine admits losing his summer job is heartbreaking. He has always wanted to be a positive role model and show his generation that it's okay to work hard and be a productive citizen. It was a good thing that it went out to a lot of people, you know, and I hope that it, you know what I'm saying, portrayed a lot of people to do things good yeah, and stop the violence and stuff like that. Now, Dixon has created a GoFundMe account to help with upcoming school expenses for her son and his three friends. Three on your side reached out to Burger King's corporate office for a comment about these claims, but could not get anyone over the phone. Reporting in the city of Clinton, Chris Fields, three on your side. A mother, her son, and his three.